Mr. Ryden, sir? <laughs> oh. Where? No. Crap. Oh, you were right. Again. What's up guys, this is Proud, otherwise known as Prince Rose Age's Dagger, and after being dead for a while, well, finally back to Revenge has finally finished the dang thing. But of course, I won't be taking really not that much chances, so I won't be trying to... I wish I could put this all in one part, but I, but I can't right now, but I'll get this done as soon as I can. 
And one thing about the VR missions I noticed, after being able to walk through, some of these are either in plain sight or really hell well hidden, like that one there. I swear, several playthroughs I'd done and couldn't find it. So, what else to do then? Get right on it. You want to know how? Because honestly, I don't even care about just trying to beat this with no damage at this point. I'm just caring about just making sure I get this done. And let's see this. We got it. We got Uno Dos Zandatsu. Oh, that's cute. You know what? Let's forget the pincer blades. And... Yep, totally got that Zandad to burst try. Burst try. You guys saw that. First try. We got a B rank for our trouble. You see that? Their exit codes show up as unaffiliated. Oi, Marshall has the security contract for the space. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal exit code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on sight because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the desperado Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Ugh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. All right, and we're gonna be sneaking to this base through the clever use of Z-Box. Z-Box. There is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. That guy has a left hand. Z-Box. No one will know what's in Z-Box till it's too late. You good, sir. You just passed by Z-Box. I swear, if I can actually do this without getting detected or earn that achievement, I'm gonna flip out. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Jamming grenade. This would be good to say I got the camera.
Oh, dang it. That's it. I've been had. So much for not being detected. Hey, you. I don't like you. Cut off your hands. Yeah, they're disarmed. And you don't have any legs, or a body, or a spine. And you, you can just die. And as for this turret, I don't like you. And I knew you were there. Blade Wolf, Leather Wolf, oh my gosh, are you okay? Another cutscene. It's a metal gear. It's an ant thing. Oh, it's Donald Trump. Well, if it isn't Saucy Jack. too late, as usual. I'm strong. Oh, Everything never mind. Toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. <laughs> right up. Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they? A story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The 
patriots. They knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now. We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message. <sighs> so he's piloting the giant ant. And look at the time. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I could probably beat this boss fight. And then, uh, then we'll cut it out. So. Why don't we cut this thing down to size, shall we? Ninja run through that and... Okay, hold on. Definitely gonna need this for Ripper mode. Da oh, frick. Yeah, I'll fight with Ripper mode, that is. All right, then. There we go. Uh, dodging invisibility frames always works wonders. Dodge and... Say goodbye to your little mech. You're the one that chose to go on the giant mech. This thing, this thing is slow as hell. And you lost your leg. Now, let's go in ripper mode and cut this thing down to size. And I'll keep my 20... Was it 25, 22 hit combo? Oh, these guys. I 
that full restore. Give it to me. Give it to me. Crap. Oh my gosh, these things are still alive now. Why can't you guys stay dead? What I don't get is that why do you have to have your mechs do the work for you? Please tell me that mech's cut down. Please tell me that mech's destroyed. Oh crap, no! Don't die, don't die, don't die. Do whatever you do, don't die. Ripper mode. Come on. Yes. I didn't mean to use another thing, but you know what? Who cares? Yes. This thing is going down. 25 hits, let's go. 84 parts, and now... Oh wait, did you just say don't get cocky? I think I have every right to be cocky at this point. 19, 20. Ah, sorry about your leg there, friend. Oh. But I like your sword. Mind if I borrow it? Thanks, buddy. So just let me take that off you. Don't worry. It's just disarming. Not like you really had anything else to begin with. Ooh, we're going to sword fight now? Lovely. Swing. It's like lights it's like lightsaber dueling. Only a million times better. And let's let's Oh, all those sparks. And now Follow the Baltic Bow. I hate you! Goodbye! Yeah, I'm so sorry for having to cut this off here, but trust me, it's for memory reasons. Otherwise, this would be cut off. So next, so this is Pratt saying that next time we're going to be, we're going to be fighting or kill, we're going to be killing the guy that controlled the mech and decided to fight like a coward behind the dang thing. So let's get right on that. See you guys next time.